for a parade, there ain't none. This is your wake up call. Like, I would just love it if we got into the funny inside 30 seconds. Hold, hold. Trouser snake reveal on wedding day confirmed. Uh, the only that'll only be a reveal to my fiance because we've been saving ourselves for marriage. All my talk of pulling out has been lies. We're both hardcore Mormons. After every single PKA, I spend like an hour praying and asking for forgiveness for all the things I said. The ultimate, the ultimate fool. I've been a Mormon the whole time. Sharpen up your spirit of adventure. The fabulous. Great start, guys. Great start. All so right. Here we are. Are you ready for my <laughs> for joke? Number, number Let's 81. hear it. Okay. Uh, scientists recently did a study on the effect of the right side and the left side of the brain had on counting. So first they took out the left half of the man's brain. And they asked him to count the 10. He said 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And they put the left half back in and they removed the right side of his brain and asked him to count the 10 again. He said 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So then, just for the hell of it, they decided to remove the entire brain, and they asked him to count the 10 one more time. And he said, look, I'm great at counting the 10, okay? I love numbers, and I have the best numbers. No one has better numbers than I do. My fourth grade math teacher, and let me tell you, she was the best and smartest math teacher in the country at the time. My fourth grade math teacher said that I am the best counter she's ever seen. The best. So if you want me to count the 10, let me tell you, I can count the 10 all right. That's not a problem. I'll do it. I will. And I will do it better than anyone has ever That's done it before. That's a hilarious Trump joke. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, love it. <laughs> uh, you know what the good thing is is that the joke knows when to stop it, it doesn't keep going and drilling it into the ground it's not totally overkill it doesn't miss the mark initially and continue down a dark path but no reward that's not what happens would you people have liked this joke more had it been like you know giving away tens and uh, become a bernie joke I would have liked it better if, um, if like, I don't know, there was something about where his wife had to count and, and she was really stupid. I, I, make, it, make it a blonde joke or, or a misogynist joke. I feel like the way the joke goes, if you put any politician in there, like, you have to so directly do make fun of it. Like, oh, ever, Bernie, he'll just share all the numbers. Oh, Trump, he, he'll convince you that he knows them, but really he doesn't. Like, they're all so over the tooth, overly obtuse and ham-handed. Like, you can see him coming, I think. All if right. they're about politicians. You know, I am willing to share. You know what? Actually, as I think about it, my only promise regarding these jokes is that they are bad. And it sounds like I hit the mark yet again. You nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. You're like a goddamn sniper. Just, 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 just bullseye. God, it's it's the perfect bit of plausible deniability, too. It's, well, yeah. it's supposed to be bad, guys. <laughs> like, what, so you think I went out there and looked for this bad one? No, just a little side... In passing, <laughs> go in. Jackie's waiting outside the door. How'd it go? Yeah. <laughs> the stand-up is never gonna take off, Jackie. Yes. <laughs> I don't even get a fucking chuckle. I didn't get a chuckle. So, dude, it dude. ruins. It ruins. I want to. I like picturing that. Like, you go to dinner with the whole family, and depending on how the bad joke goes, like they're either like totally upbeat with you, like, "Oh, Dad's coming," or like, Shh, "Shut up, call it." Shh. <laughs> Father's coming to eat, and it didn't go well. With no, they didn't laugh again. I know that six they nights didn't laugh. Wrong. No, it, they didn't laugh. Oh no. Yeah. I just, I just Beat him for the kids. Jackie in the corner of the kitchen, like, ask me why the chicken crossed the road. You're tearing this family apart, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> bad jokes. <laughs> well, I like the bad jokes. You just keep those coming. It. Around the globe, racism has been stomped out. Like occasionally, you'll hear like a, a like if there's if there's a punchline to be inserted about like a black guy or a, an Asian guy, it'll get slipped in, of course. But it's just for fun. But when the Aboriginals in Australia come up, there is a deep seated hatred for those air quotes people. <laughs> oh, All right, like 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 I'm telling you, like like the Australians hate the Abos as they call them. They're like, they're like yeah, like coming around, sniff it. Getting the getting the gas getting the petrol out of my car, huffing it, getting all crazy in the streets. It's like, really? Does that happen often? Oh yeah, every day, mate. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta Wait, put where? we gotta put locking gas caps on their cars. He, he's like, then they no. come and cut the fuel lines. But like, what? They cut the fuel lines? Yeah, and they only get like a cup of it out, and you'll see them walking down the street with like a rag stuffed in it, huffing it. Do you think How a much? cup of gas would be like three days worth of huffing? You'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. 
Not with See, those this noses. This is something that I don't know. Like, I don't know the amount of liquid volume huffing takes away. I, I assume eventually if you're really huffing a cup of gasoline, it'll be like, oh, this this has gone bad. And you throw it out. <laughs> <and it's> like, <laughs> There's no more huffs left in here. Do Aborigines <laughs> like, have the same accent as the Australians no. that I know? No, I don't. I, they He's, definitely don't, but I don't know what they sound like. They I've do never heard Taylor one. imitates them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying that, that's the like one the Australian Steve, accent fits all. That's, that's the Steve Irwin of guys going, "Oh, we got a cup of gas right here. <laughs> all the huffs out of it. Listen, smell yourself. <laughs> yeah, no huffs left in there. Is Nabo close? You've got a ball huffed up like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by way of ball box. Clean, Absorb some fun. drugs from the atmosphere around you and just hang on to them. You never know. Mm -hmm. That guy sneezes. Everybody's getting a little buzzed around him. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> like but you this... just take that dread and just suck on it real hard and get, oh, like, oh. Just I'm, get I... all the oils out and kind of get them sublingually. I... That grosses me out. I would love nothing more than every time I saw dreadlocks to just have a pair of hedge clippers I could summon <laughs> and just run up behind them, snip it, and then just... Just teleport that, away. That would be Taylor's really shitty that. superpower. Like, hedge yeah. clippers to summon near dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah uh, I just swoop in, cut their hair, and then all that they see is just a, a flash of light, and then they see a job application on the ground. <laughs> I was going to say, ah, what the fuck? I feel something. My credit score, it's growing. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about dreadlocks. I mean, I, I yeah, I get it, judging a book by a cover and such. But okay, I, I'm... oh, just because that guy has big gouges on his face and no teeth, he has to be on meth, right, Woody? Right, I, that's I, what it is. I'm being careful yeah, of to say you this. You judge a book by its color. Maybe it's a cage fighter. You, I, you go know. in to get like a doctor's appointment, like a checkup, and your doctor has a big swastika on his neck. Like, he could have, like, every Harvard Harvard doctorate behind him, and you're still going to be like, I don't feel comfortable with you. American you History X. <laughs> yeah, Dude. and he's like, all right, you're just going to want to, yeah, breathe real deep and then bite that, uh, yeah, just go ahead and bite that curb. Yeah. I, I saw a person in my real life. I don't want to give any hints to him, but it wasn't Chiz, although perhaps this would apply. He yeah, wore a yeah. dumb hat. He, in my head, I was like, why are you doing that? This is such an easy problem to solve. If, for example, he was 15 pounds overweight, right? I, I, I let that slide a little bit because it's harder to fix, you know? Like, I, I get it. But there are some issues that are so easy to fix that will help you socially. Wear deodorant, take off your, your fedora, and... Um, Anyone who's wearing a fedora in this day and age is e e they're either trying to be ironic or they're just socially retarded because no one thinks that's cool. I got into this habit of sending shirtless pictures to Kyle and Taylor, and as soon as they told me their phones are filled with like naked old men, I'm like, <laughs> that, that just encouraged me to send more and more. I'm and like then, in the kitchen, and I'm like trying to pull up like a like a recipe that I screenshotted, and there's Woody fucking like, shirtless, and he's doing this thing where he's got like one thumb in his waistband, and like his four fingers are clearly on his cock. <laughs> Damn it! I'm looking for my mother. I'm like, delete, 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 delete. Oh, Dude, I'll send I, that one again. I pull it out of the bank so I can like scan it to like make a deposit or something. I'm like, and there's Woody, fucking, <laughs> fucking sweaty and shirtless. Like, yeah, he's, real, like, he's making his mean that. face because he's flexing. So he's just like, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm horrible at posing. So and I, be like, hey, here's a photo of my hamstring and like rear leg while I'm in a towel. <laughs> like you are. Borderline naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a photo, and it's like, I mean, you're, you're, you're. It amuses me a lot that I'm in because whenever you send it via WhatsApp, it goes into their photo library. And once I figured that out, I got super encouraged to send them pictures of me without clothes. And uh, uh, but then I got a bug bite by my belly button, and I had to take a week off. But it's gone now, you guys. Oh, <laughs> thank God! I thought I thought you just decided to stop. <laughs> Wow, I look forward to the next, you know. And the, you know, it was more startling where it's like, uh, like you're you you get more and more emboldened on the amount of clothes <laughs> you feel you need to wear. Like initially, you're like, I don't feel like I'm in no shirt mode, and then like a week later, no shirt mode but jeans. 
then we go to shorts. Now we're on a towel, and now the <laughs> towel is ascending. <laughs> so we need to be. Wary, I really do a towel shot. I think you might be off on that. Kyle, he sent a towel shot, didn't he? I, I was okay with a towel shot. It was that thong. It was, it was the thong. I, I don't even think it was his thong. It wasn't a man's thong. It was, it was being real here, and, and it did not have enough coverage. Clear. I think of all of us, Kyle is the most musically inclined. So, Kyle, I want you to practice humming a copyright restricted song, and let's okay. see if you'll get. Get shit on, or what do you get shit on for for humming it? Oh, this is a great game. <laughs> <laughs> this can only lead to good places. There was a dirty Indian who came to my school one time, and uh, I don't know. They were talking about fucking. <laughs> so now it sounds racist when you say it. <laughs> oh, I thought that I thought that was a tribe, the dirty Indian. <laughs> ah, yeah. They, he came to my school once, and uh, I don't know. They were talking about basket weaving or some horse shit, and he was like, "I will not even carry a twenty dollar bill in my pocket." And I was just like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> even at, even in middle school, I was like, "What? A, what an asshole!" I won't carry a twenty dollar bill. Like, it's not like Hitler's on there. I guess it's his version I'm of Hitler, the though, right? Opposite asshole. I swear to God, I only carry twenties. If it's less it's than the, a twenty, the most convenient. I just bill. give it to my wife. If it's more than twenty, like I don't. The you, fuck you is don't this shit? Those. Yeah, I, I I have a very small wallet, so I just keep Purell. Three or four folded up twenties. <laughs> I touched a five. I touched a five. God knows what ape had his hands on that. <laughs> what kind of person spends a five dollar bill? Oh, what can you even purchase for that? <laughs> if I pull out my wallet, this is my wallet. It'll have a stack of tightly folded up twenties, and that's all I carry. And I there was a there was an Ellen clip I watched recently of uh, uh, Bill Gates trying to guess the price of common items. And I don't remember them all, but I thought he'd be closer. But like one of them was like a bag of like ready-made Uncle Ben rice or something like that, rice which like money. anyone would know like, oh, Walmart, get that for – if they're selling it for $2, they're super overcharging you. Like it's probably like a buck. you know. And he's like, I don't know. That's enough rice for like a family meal, maybe $9. And people <laughs> in the audience are like, no, no. He's like, okay, no, lower than that, lower than that, clearly lower than that. And it's like <laughs> he really pulled back the – you know, the, the shades of like, oh, this guy hasn't even considered what day-to-day -day items cost in decades. Yeah, yeah, he has no clue. Well, he was bo his father was worth like $25 million as he grew up. So I didn't even know that. Yeah, he's, he's, a lot is made out of him dropping out of Harvard and like, you know, starting his own software business. And they, there's some credit to be given there. But he had a huge safety net. He wasn't yeah, he didn't do shit. Woody thigh picks. Yeah, Woody sends some... He sent some pictures the other day of his calves and his hamstrings looking great. And such a, such a nice ass. Just want to open hand. Pa! Thanks for the 10 months, almost a year, man. Coming up on our... On our 12 months, every 12 month sub gets an open mouth kiss, whether they want it or not. Don't touch that! The villains themselves were ultimately responsible for much of the popularity. Stop relaxing. Yes. Ha. He's an Nothing comes between me and my masters. What is it, Father? These footprints were made by the flying monkey men. Here. Here. You little snickle flip. It's simple for you.